So, Stormworks 1.0 is finally out, and it has been a while since I've done a Stormworks video. That's because I've been kind of sucked into the Empire at War video. Um, before that video starts, I actually do want to try and give a little bit of a update on what's um, in Stormworks now. So, in my eyes, the best number one update that's like probably been added to the game is spreadable fires. Fires used to be spreadable, sort of. I don't know, they used to not be spreadable. They used to just be like, if an engine gets damaged, it will set on fire and then you'll have to put it out or you can spawn it in with missions. And that is a little bit, that's still kind of how it works. Engines still explode, that's still the main cause of fire. And now batteries can explode as well and cause fires, but now fire will actually spread onto normal blocks, such as like pipes and just regular blocks that you put down. So it makes fires much harder they uh, maintain and like um, they spread a lot easier so it becomes a lot more of a challenge it also means more like the military vehicles if you hit it say with a missile there's a chance that it will set on fire and you can actually um, sink the whole thing or say it could be a challenge like if you're in the middle of an ocean and you're say your boat catches on fire because your engine gets damaged it means that now you're you're gonna have to put out the fire in the entire boat instead of just putting out the engine real quick and speaking of putting out fires, there are also uh, there is also another big update to Stormworks, which is actually tools. You now get a toolbar at the bottom of your screen, and I think you get one big slot and four little slots. Those four little spot slots are actually um, these smaller tools, and the big slot is for one big tool. And how those tools work is actually there's these little um, containers that you can actually pick up these tools, such as fire hydrants and welders. And you can probably assume like fire hydrants put out fires, welders, um, actually repair vehicles, which is a whole nother thing. And there's also the mini slots, which are also for mini tools, such as first aid kits and remote controllers, which can actually control things with antennas and compasses and flashlights, binoculars, all sorts of things. And it's just really cool that you're actually able to have tools now that you can pick up. As for the welding thing, you can now actually repair vehicles in Stormworks. Before you weren't able to do this at all, which means if you get damaged, you're just damaged until you reset. Now you can actually use your welder to repair it as long as you still have fuel within the thing. You also have like fire hydrants for putting stuff out. And then I think there's like radio transceivers and things like that. And the last big thing that I'd like to mention is actually the map update. There are now actually five different types of maps that you can actually have up. And the map has been kind of updated so you can reveal the whole map, but that's, that's just something that you can read into a little bit later. So you have the main map, you have the temperature map, which actually shows you the temperature of everywhere. And you can understand like the north is cold, the south is hot, and in the middle is just kind of uh, warmish, coolish area. You can see the rain patterns. And I actually do have to mention, there is another big thing about weather. I'll mention that later. And then you can see the fog patterns and you can see the wind pattern. So you can see how intense the wind is in this area. You can see how intense the fog is or the humidity. humidity. And you can see how intense the rain is. And now for weather and environments, these have been updated a lot where they'll actually travel in big clouds and you can actually detect where they are as well as wind actually being directional and being able to push your creations around. So say, if you have really high winds and you're not locked down and your vehicle's really light, it'll actually get pushed around a lot. And there are plenty of other, maybe some bigger updates and some smaller updates. There are just tons of different things that have been added and updated in the game or just bug fixes in general. And I will leave a link in the description below to the Steam page because that actually gives a whole list of all the things that have been updated. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So anyways, welcome back to Stormworks, and you're probably going to notice I have all sorts of stuff on me that I probably showed off in the intro there, and that is because I just tried to do a recording with a big rocket, and I forgot to hit record, so i probably going to try to do that again at the end of the episode, show off the rocket, but... Um, I wanted to get to the main thing of this episode, and that would be actually using this helicopter in a jet called the um, F-15C, I believe. And um, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting episode, so anyway, let's just get right into it. So how I want to do this episode is I actually want to use this... Uh, let's just mute that. I want to actually have this, um, this helicopter going towards something. I'm just going to ignore that mission. Um... I need to choose a location that I want it to autopilot towards. And I think I'm just going to choose this place. So what I want to do is I want to actually have this thing autopilot towards there. And I, the F-15C is basically a jet that has missiles on it. I want to try and shoot this thing down. And it's going to be 
a little bit of a challenge since this thing is a helicopter, probably going at pretty fast speeds, and I'm going to be flying a jet. Jets are a bit difficult to fly in general, especially in storm work, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think I can do it, especially with the F-15C, because it does have tracking missiles, but you do have to lock onto your target first, so yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but I think I'll be able to do it. This helicopter is pretty cool because it has like a forward propulsion sort of thing where it kind of just goes forward automatically. I'm not sure if this, that's actually like a separate propulsion method or if it's just like a, the helicopter just automatically goes forward, but it makes GPS pretty easy to do. It also has this little interface that I can mess with. It's also got this really cool GPS with all these little... It's actually like got green, so it's easier to see in the night, I'm assuming, and it's got like a center button as well. You could actually just see the whole map if you wanted to from here. Anyway, I'm going to stop messing around and actually get to it. Uh, let's go and launch this thing. And I do got to set... I do have to set this thing up, so I have to get to the air. It's a little bit sensitive to the controls, but once I get it going, it's pretty easy to figure out. So, what do I want to do first? I think what I want to do is I want to enable the thing. I want to enable the thing. Oh, yeah. Um, forward propulsion. So, I have to press 3, and then I have to press this button. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have the waypoint in. Yeah, that might be important. Okay, so there we go. So, now it's going to make its way towards the waypoints at... Oh, it's kind of... Eh, boy. I don't want to be doing that the whole way. Let's disable that real quick. Um, you going in a straight line here? Yes, you are, I think. And for let's just enable that. Okay. And I think it's going. Okay, so now that's going, I'm going to go ahead and respawn back here. Or not respawn, I'm going to teleport. So yeah, now it's off on its own. And I'm going to go pull out the F-15C. It is going to be a little bit of a challenge because I'll have to, if I miss, I'll actually have to reset my entire, um, my entire jet and I actually have to find it again. But I think it, it should be easy because I'm in a jet and it's a plane or it's a helicopter. So I don't think, I'm not afraid of not being able to catch up to it. It's got a robot pilot. What is that? I'm not sure what the target select thing is. Maybe... I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't, I've checked out the F-15 before, but, like, this is a different variant of it, I believe, so it's got a few, di it's got some different features than what I'm used to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, reset. <laughs> I have a good feeling that's not supposed to happen. Um, I'm falling behind the, I'm falling behind the helicopter. How far is it? Oh, it's not even past the Solar Islands yet. I got some time. So, how does this work? Is it just like other plane controls, or is it a little bit different? Uh, let's take off. Yep, takes off normally. If I don't take off, if I take off too fast, then it seems to actually break itself. Oh, jeez, I'm going really fast. Oh, hi, hel hi helicopter. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit difficult. I might be going too fast for this. Um, well, yeah, let's go ahead and slow ourselves down a little bit. Maybe I can get put down the gears just for effect. And there it is. Am I locked onto it? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Those things are supposed to lock on. Oh, that's because I didn't have my HUD on. Of course I didn't. Okay, so let's turn ourselves around. And all I really have to do to shoot is press 2. So let's just get ourselves into range. And oh, it's locking on. Let's just fire. Did I hit it? Did, am I going to hit it? And I don't know. Let's see the stings. Oh, they ran out of fuel. No. Am I gonna hit? Oh yeah, I still hit it. I still hit the helicopter. Is it? Did I did I destroy it though? No, I I hit it, but I don't think I destroyed it. Come on, let's turn this plane around. Jets are so weird to fly. No, no, and I'm underwater. Let's just recover this vehicle real quick. I want to check out that helicopter. I want to see what kind of damage I did to it, but I flew past it way too fast. Maybe I'll get another run on it here, too. What kind of damage did I do? Um, did I do damage? I know I hit. It definitely looked like I did. Did it reset itself? It might have ended up resetting itself. I thought I hit that thing. Maybe I just did all the damage to the missiles themselves. 
Alright, so let's try that again then. Is it just going straight up now? Yeah, it's just going straight up now. Do it. Yeah. Why does it do this? Like, it's, it's avoiding. Well, I got a few good hits off with the missiles, but that project just isn't working out. So let's just check out the final thing that I want to check out this whole thing. It's actually called, it's actually called like a SpaceX rocket which is actually kind of based off of the SpaceX line. And this thing is just awesome. Like, the, just the sheer design of this thing. I wonder how well it's going to do, or actually how it works. I checked it out a little bit earlier, but I didn't actually get the chance to launch it. So, it'll be cool to see how this thing works. Oh, wow, this thing is really squeaky. Um, and it drifts a lot. Okay. Please, if this if this thing tips, I'm just gonna end this episode because not like nothing is working in this episode. Um, what do these buttons do? I believe this one is the oh, that's just the gate for the driver. Uh, deploy the starship. Oh yeah, this is the starship. I just realized that's really cool. So it's kind of like the same starship design. And where do I want to go with this? I think I want to go to one of these airports. Let's go here, the O'Neill Air Base. Let's, so let's set, set a waypoint here. And I'm guessing, does it just go straight up or does it go to the waypoint? I'm not sure yet. I probably should have thought about that before, like saying, hey, I'm going to go there. Oh, this thing lowers. Okay, I'll stop. And they got a little bit of a map here. Does this thing like... What does this do? Oh, yeah, I could just kind of move around the map. That's really cool. And then if I press C, it, it centers, I'm guessing. Yeah, I like these little maps that people install into their, into their creations. And then what's this? Oh, it's... You made, you made RGB lighting. Why? <laughs> could I just... I could just make it red if I wanted to. What's this? Oh, it's just the speed of how fast it's blinking. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, because I don't want to disco. Um, what do I do here? I just got all my stuff here, and I'm guessing I there's just a button? Or do I actually have to launch this thing like a jet? Um, there's a bunch of hatches. There's uh, heaters. I'm going to turn that on. I don't want to press that yet. Landing lights. Um, there's a launch button. And there's, there's landing coordinates, so I guess I'll just put that in there. And can I just hit hold? Oh, it's like a little like launch confirm thing. Once it leaves the top, it's ready to go. And let's just see, see this thing launch from the outside. And it goes. Oh, it's turning. Um, oh, it's correcting itself. It's just going straight up. Oh, that's cool. It's just going to turn around all the way, I'm guessing. Does this just go, like, does it go super far up, or does it just travel to the location? Because I'm kind of wondering. I know, like, the rockets, like, the SpaceX rockets are planned to, like, go into orbit and then, like, land somewhere else. So it's supposed to be, like, a an hour-long trip just to get across the world with these things. So I'm guessing that's kind of what this is supposed to be. That's just so cool. So is it just going to travel to that location, or is it actually going to, like, is it actually going to go up? Oh no, it might just be... Please tell me this isn't just one big missile. Because if this is just a missile, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh no. I just got an idea. Now, no, I'm... I was about to say, now i got to shoot this thing down with a missile, but there's no chance that even the jet would be able to keep up with this thing. This thing is moving fast. Like, I'm already over top of the Sawyer Islands, which I was traveling to from here, so it was like four kilometers. That's just... I, I moved fast. They got all of these little displays in here telling you stuff. What does overdrive do, I wonder? Um, the jets just turned off. Oh, jeez. What do these buttons do? I'm pressing all the buttons I probably shouldn't be pressing here. Um, well, this thing's falling. Is it, like... Oh, it's actually... It's actually directing itself towards the waypoint. Is this thing just gonna fall all the way, or is it gonna deploy a parachute, or what? Um, might, it might turn back on, I'm not sure yet, though. 
Come on, you're gonna, you can make it back down. This is if this if I just mess something up by pressing those two switches, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Also, by the way, yeah, I can get up here. I can actually move around, but I'm not sure that's the best idea. I might just end up dying. I'm falling towards the ground. Oh, it just corrected itself. That's so cool. Is a parachute gonna deploy from like the top or something? Oh no, it's gonna. Oh, this thing doesn't even use a parachute. It just deploys again. Wow, that's just so cool. Just gonna land again, huh? And touchdown. Wow. Just wow. I am almost speechless. That's just so cool. Uh, go again. Can I control this thing? I wonder. Oh, wait, like, I could actually launch this thing again if I wanted to now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I might do that at the end of the episode, just because I think I want to end it here. I had a... It might have not seemed like it, but I did have a lot of fun with the creations I had. It was a little bit frustrating because I couldn't seem to hit anything. It would just seemed to, like, be fail after fail, but... I still had a lot of fun just flying those things around and checking out those creations in general because they had all sorts of really cool features on them. And for the end screen here, I honestly just want to launch this rocket somewhere. Uh, let's just launch it somewhere in the ocean just because. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and set the waypoint and let's just start this thing up again. Also, I just kind of want to check out what this overdrive thing does. Yeah, I don't even... It's like, it's it's not powered by rocket boosters either. It's actually powered by jets, so it could actually have multiple uses. And once I get going, I actually want to check out what overdrive does. Overdrive is now on. Does that mean it goes super fast or what? Also, there's an APU, so... I'm guessing that just means extra thrust. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that was the rocket, and I had a, like I said, I had a lot of fun with these creations, and I do plan on making more Star Wars in the future. I might end up um, shifting over to um, Empire at War later, because I do plan on making another episode this week, since I didn't miss my schedule last week, but that'll be for something, that'll be for later. It's starting to shake. I'm worried. It's, it's, it's shaking. <laughs> um... Yeah, anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. And as always, goodbye.